Hello friend, this is Sanjay Kumar, creator of Selector Sub. If you are new here, request you please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming updates. Thank you. Recently, you might have noticed that you got this pop-up uh, register to continue. So uh, do not worry about this. This is just a, a feature we are trying to add here because uh, most of you have requested that whenever you save some data and uh, like in test case studio whenever you save one test case so what happens like if you by mistake or if you close the test uh, test case studio then your test case your work used to lost and in selector sub also most of you have requested for a lot more features like uh, provide some features like where we can save our work where we can uh, like whatever x path or whatever selectors we have written we want to save it uh, there forever and whenever we want to access so all those uh like crazy features are going to come i'm planning uh, for selectors of 5.0 and test case studio uh, next version so this is uh like basic steps which is required and it is not asking anything much just an email id so do not get panicked that oh my god it is asking and this is just an one-time registration pro process like it, it is not like every time whenever you will be open uh, opening selectors up then you will have to again uh, like login once you done the login then next time you will never ever have to uh, do that it is just a single one time process so yeah like suppose if you have once registered here and continue abc123 or whatever password it is once you have registered next time onwards when you will be opening selectors hub and test case uh like once it is required in selectors hub, once it is required in test case studio once you have done that after that whatever no region like if you open uh like if you close uh chrome browser five whichever browser you are using it if you restart your browser then also you will not have to log in it again so once you uh have registered once you have signed in you will never ever have to uh log in again this is just a one-time process this is just a one-time registration process once in a lifetime so do not worry about that because uh, i got a, uh, some of the message so <coughs> generally like most of you have uh, supported here not an issue everyone understand that whenever we use any app it is required this is the very uh, first process which is required and of course like as we grow as we will have to add more features more uh, time saver features that's where we will require the uh, lot more uh, things to do in the uh, product so this is where we need your help so please uh, support here this is nothing to do anything uh, like <clears throat> to save data or something like that this is absolutely safe and secure do not worry about that it is it's still running offline in your system it doesn't save any of your uh, information like uh, any of your uh, information uh, sensitive information or any kind of data it is just like asking simple like you do register uh, whenever you use facebook google instagram twitter don't you create a, create an account everywhere we create an account just that like here also so to get more features to add more features more uh support there because uh we have to add like features more features and features and every day i used to uh, keep getting a lot of requests that uh, we want this feature that we can save some data here we can uh, do this thing like <laughs> auto healing test case saving in the cloud so a lot many things are there if we will not uh, start with such things then uh, you would not be able to uh, make it possible so yeah so that's the purpose i hope like uh, this will not create any panic there and you guys will understand the requirement of these things this is just a simple process only once it is required and post that like it uh, you will be able to use selectors of test case studio as usual whatever you were using like once you have done the registration after that it will never require and you can keep using it and you would be able to use it once it is required in selector sub once it, once only once it, it is required in test case studio so yeah that was a quick update and uh yeah if and if you ever get any any uh, question any doubt like what new feature came in this release why this happened that happened you can always check the change log of uh, selector sub as well as test case studio you will get all the answers of your questions that why this has been added what feature has been added in this release so always keep uh, an eye here like whenever any update 
<coughs> sorry whenever any update will be there you will see all the changes here like if you go here in selectors of tab if you ever miss that where is the url you can always click here on the version link this will take you to the page uh, change log page similarly like if you are using test case studio you click on this version here and you will see the change log here so this will always help you to uh, see what changes has come in introduced in this version or whatever it is there okay so yeah with that uh, thank you so much and if you guys want to learn more about selectors how to write and all uh, more complex scenarios do check out these courses here under courses and recording if you want to join my live training you can register here so i hope this will help you guys and will uh, clear everyone's doubt what it is and this is just once in a lifetime registration process with that thank you thank you so much guys keep supporting keep sharing thank you